asked, smiling with surprise. I tell everybody to do that. Okay, so, um, crazy busy day today. Freaking really awesome day. So, do your mileage. Always do your mileage, everyone. And today's the 17th. So, let's put that... On here, I'm just trying to find a clear page to put it on. Oh wow, I'm at exactly 69,000 miles on the M3 Mazda 3, not not a BMW. I don't spend money on things like that. So I'm gonna go pick up a sign and lockbox. <clears throat> Got to check the GPS to see which way is faster. I don't know if I've got to take 105 or if I've got to take um, I-35. So let's do that real quick. I've got to turn the GPS on my phone so it knows where I'm at. <clears throat> oh, wow. Okay, so I'm going to take 105. Was not expecting that. So um, the e light. It is an $80 camera. The one I'm using now, because as per my movers, I misplaced my GoPro. Uh, I also misplaced my GoPro battery charger too. So, and a whole bunch of other stuff I misplaced. So, I'm really upset about that. Um, watch that video on how to, how to make sure your movers are reputable people. Uh, highly important, don't trust anyone. Even if you think you know them, definitely do background checks on your movers. The e lights an $80 uh, action camera. The GoPro I had when I purchased it was a $265 camera, and it has some it has some nice features. You know, it, it has a ton of nice features compared to the one I'm using now. But the one I'm using now, you know, until we. I can't justify getting the same high quality camera that I used to have until I get that house sold. So the GoPro on the front face of it, it has a screen that tells you what mode you're in and that you're recording and everything. The E light, it has a blinking blue light on the front of it and it will say that you're recording by blinking, but it doesn't tell you what it is. You gotta flip it over and look to see what's selected. So that's one of the positives I liked about the GoPro I could always tell what mode I was on by that front screen so super that was super easy so today guys it's been blessings after blessings after blessings after blessings today I've uh, wrote a contract for some customers I was able to get one of my associates to help me get them in the house because I didn't have time today because I had prior appointments already. Got a photo shoot booked for next Friday. Received two listing agreements. Um, just an amazing, amazing day. And I'm getting the TRR. I'm getting two TRRs straightened out right now too. We're in negotiations on two different TRRs. So just amazing day. Very productive. Got to give the wife, we're finally getting our house back in order after the move, the new house. And I was able to give the wife a little breather, like a little one hour breather in the middle of the day to take care of the kids. I took care of the kids while she took a nap. So I was very thankful for that. And yeah, uh, started reading Rhett, the chronological Bible. I, I figure I'll read him five chapters every night. And I haven't looked up how many chapters are in the Bible. I guess I should do that to know how many chapters per night I'm going to read him. But he usually falls asleep around chapter 3, chapter 4. So i uh, just going to start putting that in his mind. Getting him where he needs to be with the Word of God and things of that nature. So, yeah, I'm going to set you guys up on my new tripod that luckily I bought because I this was also a piece that I misplaced as per my movers during my move. Um, man, just so disappointed, but I'm really glad I had a backup. 
So I'll set you up when I bring that sign down and grab that lockbox, get a drop off some milk, post office, get to feed the dogs, and then head home. So really, the sign and the lockbox will really be the only big thing today. If you have any questions about contracts, you have any questions about staying in touch with your customers, any real estate questions in general, just always put them in the comments below. I'm here to help. Like Ricky Cruz says, business is infinite. As long as you go and seek it, it will it'll be there. God, God's going to keep blessing you. You know, say your prayers. Give the glory to God. You'll keep getting blessed as long as you wake up every morning at work. All right, guys. Josh Barnett, Better Homes and Garden Real Estate Paramount. If you're thinking about buying or selling some real estate in Oklahoma, give me a call. 405-315-7965. I'll see you guys on the next clip. Right, got that sign down I'd like to put it on the Yukon home but the Yukon home so far from my house that uh, I'm not gonna do that because if the wind knocks that over I've got to go fix it and I'm not about to drive to Yukon to fix it so I'll put one of my standard premier frames up premier signs out at the Yukon home and keep this one for closer homes all right let's go grab the lockbox real quick I'll see you guys tomorrow.